Jack Black posts this on his Instagram account this morning. I was blindsided by what was said at the show on Sunday. I would never condone hate speech or encourage political violence in any form. After much reflection, I no longer feel it is appropriate to continue the tenacious detour and all future creative plans are on hold. I am grateful to the fans and for their support and understanding. Some of you might be like, Jay, what in the world is going on? This was not how this video was supposed to go. This was about Gina Carano calling out Disney and Lucasfilm because of the statements made by the Tenacious Detour, but it seems things have escalated. And it looks like Jack Black might have quit the band. We'll keep you updated on all this, but let's just go through everything so I could tell you how we got here. And could you do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button? It's a free thing that you can do that helps out the channel. We're looking to get to that 100K mark, and I couldn't be here without you. Thank you. So let me take you through the timeline of events here. As you guys know, if you haven't been living under a rock, you know what happened to President Trump on July 13th. And the day following that, Tenacious D, which is Jack Black's band, was playing in Australia. And at the end of one of the songs, Jack Black wheeled out a cake for his bandmate and said, hey, make sure you make a wish. What's your wish? And his bandmate responded, don't miss Trump next time. Then Jack Black laughed and he said, thank you. And that was the end. There is a clip on TikTok that's floating around I was gonna put in this video, but people have been saying that it's being claimed. I don't know if that's true or not. It's easy to find, it's everywhere. Then tweets like this just started appearing everywhere on social media calling him out and uh saying this guy's a piece of trash you shouldn't um condone this kind of stuff and then we get to gina people from all over social media began calling this out and tagging gina carano this is just one of them it says while gina carano was fired and blacklisted from hollywood for far less than the rhetoric seen here, Jack Black will likely not be held accountable by anyone in Hollywood. No studios will release a statement. He will not lose roles double standard. Now, you might ask yourself, what do you mean? Studios make a statement? If you forgot, Lucasfilm made a statement about Gina Carano's um, social media. Here's the statement here. The statement from Lucasfilm. Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm, and there are no plans for her to be in the future. Nevertheless, nevertheless, her social media post, <laughs> you can't say anything, right? They're abhorrent. They're unacceptable. So with all that being said, it's like, okay, so you don't, you don't like what she had to say. Are you going to make a comment on uh, Jack Black being associated with a band that uh, wishes harm, you know, to Donald Trump. Gina goes to Twitter and says, would Lucasfilm or Disney like to comment on one of their actors on The Mandalorian promoting and the very least not backing down and claiming the actual abhorrent rhetoric on stage about joking about the assassination attempt failing to kill President Trump? or is calling for peace between neighbors like I did, the only values you at Disney Lucasfilm find abhorrent. And like making dangerous statement towards your female cast members to broadcast out to the Hollywood press and world. Not this one though, right? Or last week's Mark Ruffalo's comment, or all the ones we have documented before? Hmm, emoji. And after that, an Australian senator calls for the immediate deportation of Tenacious D after the guitarist declares on stage, don't miss Trump next time. So now people are going crazy on social media. They're angry. Now a senator wants to kick the band out of the country. Gina then takes to Twitter and says this, Jack Black, a man was murdered protecting his family for a bullet meant for Trump. And it's funny to you. A family is left without a husband and a father, and you and your bandmates laugh and wish the bullet would have murdered Trump. Get a mirror and look at it and see who's looking back. 
Enjoy the privilege of keeping your jobs. They won't come for you when you're one of them. But once they've used you up, they will throw you away just like they have the rest of us. For what shall profit a man if he gains the whole world and lose his soul? Mark 8, 36. Now, this is where my video would have ended if I had done this last night because it appears they came out and said, oh, it was just a bad joke. Says the crowd divided over bad joke at Sydney gig hours after the Trump shooting. Yeah, it's just a joke, everyone. It was just a bad joke. We probably shouldn't have said it. It was terrible. And Gina calling out Lucasfilm for not making a statement and then letting Jack Black know, listen, hey, as long as you're on their side, you'll keep your jobs. But once they're done with you, they're going to toss you to the side. I mean, you, you better check it out. Look what they've done to the rest of us. And uh, I believe she had every right to call this stuff out. She had every right to tag Disney and Lucasfilm because we've seen this time and time again that she made that one social media post, which is being proven right, right before our eyes. And they were like, we're done with her. We don't want nothing to do with her because she's a conservative. But when anybody else points stuff out, and we did videos on that as well from Mark Ruffalo and now even this, um, they, they just remain silent. They'll just be silent because they have the right thing. But the story continues as you saw at the beginning of the video. This was the statement from Jack Black where he says, I would never condone hate speech or encourage political violence in any form. It appears the band is broken up. So what do you guys think? Do you think this was just because of the backlash? If nobody said anything, he just would have carried on. Um, do you think we'll hear anything from Hollywood? Lucasfilm, Disney, or any other projects that he's associated with saying uh, we, we don't want him around because of that? I, I don't think so. I think they'll take this as an apology and say he did the right thing, and they'll just try to move on from it. Now, if you made it this far in the video, I just want to thank you. I, I just want to talk about something serious for a moment. I know this channel, most people are subscribed because we just laugh at a lot of things that are done from Lucasfilm. And that will continue. But many of you know that my merch is with Nine Line Apparel. And maybe you don't know. Maybe you're a new subscriber. You didn't know that. So all my merch, my Welcome to the Rebellion merch, it's all done by Nine Line Apparel. And if you buy some of my merch, a portion of the profits go to the Nine Line Foundation, which helps veterans get back on their feet. Well, Nine Line has come out with a shirt supporting uh, the husband the father, Corey, who was killed at the Trump rally. And every penny, there is no discount code, there is nothing. Every penny from that shirt sale will go to the family. Nine Line has been in contact with the family, and this is what they're going to do to help that family. So if you would like to get a shirt, I will put it in the pinned comment below. There's no pressure. But I just, want, I just want to be perfectly clear. You can go on their website and read it for yourself. You can do your own investigation work. But not a single penny. There, there will be no discount code or anything like that. Not a single penny will go to anywhere but the family, to, to Corey's family. So if you, if you want to help, it's in the pinned comment. Again, let me know your thoughts on this video. This is a crazy story. Just giving you all the facts and the timeline. And just trying to tie it all in together. Let me know what you think. This is Jay. And we'll catch you next time.